with reference to the origin O, the three points A, B, C has position vectors A, B, and C. So given that O, A, position vector, this is A, O, B, this is equal to B, and O, C, this is equal to vector C. And we're also given that vector A plus vector B plus vector C, this is a zero vector. Part 1. Part 1, we are supposed to show that A cross B is equal to B cross A. Let's start with one of the sides. So let's say let's start with the left-hand side. So A cross B. In order for me to show that this is equal to B cross C, we need to find a way to replace A, isn't it? Because on the right-hand side, it involves only B and C. So in order for me to replace A, I'm going to make use of this piece of information that is given to me. Because according to this, A is going to be equal to minus B minus C. So let's try to see whether it is possible for us to get this to be equal to B cross C if I were to replace A here by minus B minus C. So I have this cross B, we will have a minus B cross B minus C cross B. And what is B cross B? B cross B is a zero vector. Minus C cross B is equal to minus B cross C. So this is minus B cross C. So we have a zero plus B cross C. This is B cross C. And this is what the question wants us to show. Then in part two, we are given that angle AOB is 180 degrees. Let's have a quick visual of what is happening. So let's say here is point A, here is point O, and here is point B. So according to what the question says, A, O, B. This is 180 degrees. So just based on this itself, right, we can really see that A, O, B, they are lying on the same straight line. In fact, this is vector A and this is vector B. This tells me that vector A is going to be parallel to vector B. And if vector A is parallel to vector B, by making use of what we have here, what is A cross B? A cross B, this is going to be equal to a zero vector, since A and B are parallel to each other. So since angle AOB is equal to 180 degrees, we know that A cross B is equal to a zero vector. And what is A cross B? A cross B is B cross C. So therefore, we know that B cross C is also going to be a zero vector. And if B cross C is a zero vector, this tells us that vector B is going to be parallel to vector C. And this is OB is going to be parallel to OC. So if I were to try to visualize this again on this little diagram that is over here, we know that A, B is going to be parallel to, sorry, we know that A is going to be parallel to B, and now B is also parallel to C. C is a position vector, so it is also going to be starting from the origin. So from here, maybe C is here, maybe C is here. Let's say C is here. So if I were to just extend this a little bit, we have C here. This tells us that since OA is going to be parallel to OB, and OB is parallel to OC, so A, B, C, they must, be, they must be lying on the same straight line. In fact, A, O, B, C, they are all going to be lying on the same straight line. The question is asking us about A, B, C. So I can say that, therefore, A, B, C, they are lying on the same straight line. Or yeah, I, can, I can replace this with a one single um, descriptive word, which is collinear. So A, B, C, they are collinear. Okay, collinear means that the three points are lying on the same straight line. Let's move on. Let's take a look at part three. So we have part three here. So in part three, we are supposed to consider the magnitudes of the vectors on both sides of the equation in part one. In part one, we have this A cross B. This is equal to B cross C. So in part 3 now, we are supposed to consider the magnitude on both sides of this equation. Magnitudes of the vectors on both sides of the equation. So we have this is equal to the magnitude of B cross C. We are supposed to show this A plus 2C dot 
a minus 2c is going to be less than 0. We don't know how this can be shown yet, but at least we have a hint. It is going to be based on this. So by making use of the definition of cross product, the magnitude of this is going to be magnitude of a multiplied by magnitude of b sine of the angle that is between them, which is angle a o b. This is equal to magnitude of b multiplied by magnitude of c sine of the angle that is between them, which is angle here, I'm going to use angle b o c. So modulus of b and modulus of b, they can be cancelled. This is going to be modulus of a sine angle a o b. This is going to be equal to modulus of c sine of this angle. According to the question, this angle is two times of this angle. So let me write it down. Two times of angle a o b. I'm going to apply trigonometric identities. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to apply the fact that sine 2a, this is equal to 2 sine a cosine a. So I'm going to try to re-express this over here. So we have a modulus of a sine angle a o b. This is going to be modulus of c. This will be 2 times of sine angle a o b cosine of angle a o b. And I guess this and this can be cancelled. So I have now deduced this. Modulus of A is equal to modulus of C. Then 2 times of cosine angle A O B. Okay, we have gotten this, but we still don't know how we can prove this over here. But let's just try, okay? We don't know how this can directly be used to show that yet. But let's just... Start with the left-hand side of the inequality, which we are supposed to be looking at the expression of a plus 2c. So we have this, dot a minus 2c. So let's see whether we can make use of this result here to try to show that this is less than 0. Expanding this, we have a, a dot a. a dot a. Then after that, minus 2 times of a dot c then plus 2 times of c dot a, and we have a minus 4 times of c dot c. a dot a is modulus of a square. a dot c is the same as c dot a, so these two will be cancelled. I'm going to be left with minus 4 of c dot c, which is modulus of c square. Okay, I think this is when I'm going to substitute and replace modulus of a by this. So this is going to be, if I were to replace modulus of a by this, so it's going to be this square. So we have a 2 square, which is going to be 4. Then this is going to be modulus of c square. And this is cosine square of angle a o b. So I will have this minus away 4 times of modulus of c square. And I guess we can now factorize out 4 times of minus c square which is going to be leaving us with a cosine square angle a o b minus 1. And we are going to make use of another trigonometric identity, which is this. Sine square a plus cosine square a is equal to 1. And we are looking at cosine square a minus 1. So it is going to be minus sine square a. So I'm going to rewrite this now. This is going to be equal to 4 modulus of c square and this is minus sine square angle a o b so we have a positive number multiplied by another positive number this is going to be positive this is negative which shows me that this entire thing here is supposed to be less than zero and what is this this is this so therefore we know that a plus 2 c dot a minus 2 c is less than zero okay nice this is what we are supposed to show and now we are at the last part now to look at this last part of here i'm going to make use of the result that we have uh, obtained in part one which is a cross b this is equal to b cross c let me tell you what i can do with this result that is from part one because a is actually vector 
OA. So this vector A, when it is crossed with OB, so we have a vector B here, we have a normal vector, so let's say it is going to be this, okay? And this is actually the same as B cross C. So B cross C is going to give us another normal vector. And that normal vector is going to be actually this normal vector, which means that for C, let's say point C is here, point C with a position vector C, which shares the same normal vector, this tells us that point A, B, C, these three points here, they must be lying on the same plane, which is plane P that we are given here. And in fact, O is also going to be lying on the same plane, right? Because A cross B is going to give me that normal vector, B cross C is also going to give, be giving me that normal vector. So O, A, B, C, they are all going to be lying on the same plane. So let me write it down. Since A cross B is equal to B cross C from our deduction over here, this tells us that O, A, B, C, they are all lying on the same plane. So uh, a word that I can use of to represent all the points being lying on the same plane is coplanar. Just now we have used collinear. So now O, A, B, C, they are coplanar. So they are all lying on the same plane, which means that if I were to look at point plane P, which contains point A, B, C, and I now know that it also contains O, which is going to be R dot N, it can be obtained by doing a, since it contains point O, we can also go for a O dot N, which is going to be equal to zero. And this is equal to K. Therefore, we know that K is equal to zero. Mm -hmm.